Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and today uh, we're going to work on the quilting guide and foot plate, the item number is GC1 kit. It's uh, actually a quilting um, kit. So as you know, uh, these are industrial sewing machines. They are only made to do a straight stitching. Now you could, there are many type of feet for them. One of the things that people call in for is a uh, quilting feet or free motion feet or um, yeah free motion quilting feet that people are looking to buy so these are free motion actually that we have they're wide open one of them is in metal and one of them is clear and a lot of people wanted to uh, know how to get rid of the or drop the feed dog if you uh, close up. You see the feed dog? You have to drop it uh, if you're using this type of plate so it won't bother with your free motion quilting. So now we have this um, plate and feed dog that you see right here and I'm going to show you how to change them. Very easy. Turn off your machine. Very simple. Just take this uh, Feed dog out, played, uh, I mean, screwed out. Now we're working on a Juki DDL5550, uh, but again, it does not matter which one you have. They're all the same. Juki, Nutec, uh, whatever it is out there, you could use, they use the same plate, the same feed dog. So, you know what people usually say, you have your hand on the way, so they don't know what I'm doing really. Let's see if you could somehow do it, that my hand is not on the way. And, but don't do it too close because then they say, you know what? Okay, so put your hand from underneath, okay, from here, and push this back. I'm gonna cut this thread. Just pull this up. By the way, if you also wanna change plate and feed out for heavy duty stuff, you could also use the same thing that I'm doing right now. Take the feed dog out, very simple. Open these two screws. There is no um, adjustment. When you put them back, there is no adjustment how to put this back. Uh, the only hold, I mean, there are screws that you just open up, if I could open them up. Sometimes they make them very, very tight. Let me get a bigger screw. I'm nearby. Sometimes the bigger screwdriver makes a huge difference. I don't know why they make this so tight. Honestly, why? Juki, <laughs> why do you make it tight? You know, I have customers that call me, David, we cannot open the screws. I'm like, I'm not there, I can't help you. But it is so true. Just get a longer screwdriver and uh, you'll be able to Open it up. I know already opened this one up, I'll just. Uh, also, so with this machine, you could get a uh, different type of feed dog. Light, light to medium, medium to heavy, heavy to, uh, extra heavy duty one for making canvas, plate, you know, all different type of, um, so opening the screws and changing the feed dog and plate is the same way as I'm doing right now. So we're gonna take the feed dog out. The reason is because the feed dog would um, pretty much guide the fabric or the garment. So we don't want that, we want 
Just make sure you put this stuff back in here so you don't use them. And while we are at it, you see this number in the back? It does not mean anything. You actually do not need to get a Juki brand plate or a feed dog. You could get a universal one. These two numbers do not mean anything right here. Just get a universal. If you go one and buy original Juki, it will cost you $20, $25, $30. Something like this on our website is $3.99 and $3.99. And even Jasmine could help you. Yes. Right? And there are different types. So we don't need to put the feed dog back. We're gonna go ahead and put this plate only back. The same screws, right? And by the way, I, I have not done this. This is the first time. So if we, uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it, I'm sure it's gonna work. I'm honestly, I don't do, um, Redo it, I don't do, like, I'm not one of those companies that I have a, uh, uh, you know, you just decide what movie to, I mean, what video to do, shoot, and we do. Just tie this, and now I'm gonna tell you, you don't wanna tie one really hard and come back. You just, you wanna do a little bit of this one, and a little bit of this one, so, and then back, and forth, so it, this plate will sit nicely. Okay. Done. Done. Take the plate out. I mean, take the. Oh my God. The. Take the foot out. And these are high shank. You're gonna ask me, does this one work with a home sewing machine? No, this is a high shank foot. You see that? Here, the bottom and here are the same. Hopefully, again. Oh yeah, see that? Go right in there. Just go ahead and tie the screw or buy one of those quick change screws. Quick change, quick change screws that we have. You see that? Now, go ahead and pull this out. Push the plate back in. Uh, let me just move back so I could, let me just take the thread out. Does it come out or you want to play a game with me? Okay, we don't need to do that. And then we're gonna try this one too. Okay, so when we sew, I don't know how to sew let alone embroidery or quilting or none of that stuff. I don't know, I just, so this is four or five layers. Uh, let's say you have a top and you have some foams and you have, I don't know, tear away, whatever we do have. I'm gonna uh, just- We need to turn it on or just- Is it on? Oh, on. Thank you. You're welcome. Oy. See that? And then, oy. So this thing, this is the part we have to actually see how it, it's done. Okay, we have, good, all right. So okay, so this is too tight. So we have to make sure that it's gonna uh, be able, we have to be able to move this around. Even though, see when this is down, it's too tight. So what we have to do is, you see this right here? We're gonna adjust this. We're gonna open counterclockwise. That's how you adjust the foot pressure. This is the foot, not the needle bar, the foot, the pressure right here, needle bar. I mean the foot bar, pressure. Let me get rid of this uh, counterclockwise, this washer, and counterclockwise this. You see, I'm coming up, and then just lock this one up. I'm gonna just see if this one, is it? Okay, so I have to still do it more. I'm gonna pull this up because I cut the thread. 
and we're gonna make sure that it's going, that it's going. So let's, people don't really wanna see the threading, so let's cut, I mean, and pause, pause. and come, yeah. Okay. Okay, so what I did, I brought this all the way up, and since I'm not a real sewer, but, or quilter, or a embroidery person, you always have to play with this uh, knee lifter thingy, all right? So I brought this all the way up. Like, if you wanna check right now, see? This one is e not easily, but much easier than before moves around. But you still want it to be easy. So I know when quilters or um, embroidery people use this machine and they wanna do free motion, they play with this knee lifter up and down and they just keep it at a certain, so you could just da 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 it could go. Okay, I know that. Because the way they could do the speed and the way they uh, wanna, wanna fill up their stitching, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, same thing, I'm gonna raise it with my feet the same way that professional people do it, like I think I'm, what I'm doing. I did this, I tied it, the the tension tight, very tight, okay? But I did not touch the tension of the bobbin case. You could also tie down one so you could get an equal result, but I didn't get into it, right? I just gonna go ahead and start very easy, soft. I'm gonna start sewing, oh, here you go again. Why this coming up? I don't know, but I did, I did a lot of, uh, uh, sewing with it before we went la I mean we started uh, taping just wanted to make sure that I I am doing it right and I know I'm doing it right but I'm not a professional um, sewer so you guys are at home and when you want to thread this one you gotta go from left to right that's what we tell, tell people they call and say, my machine is not working. We tell them the first thing is that you guys are doing it wrong. You gotta go left to right, and that's the reason. If it goes in there, okay. Let's get the thread out from underneath, it's out. So we're gonna put this down, right? A little bit of, um, Maybe that was too tight. That's why it came out, maybe. Raise a little bit. You see right now it's much easier to, to sew. And you see that I'm gonna start sewing and uh, free motion. Oh my God, look at me going. Hello. Um, you know, I don't get the credit. I want to thank my parents. <laughs> I told you it was I told work. you it's gonna work. Yes, so now I'm, um, see I could stop, go, look at that. And fast and slow and. Now, you're gonna ask me if you look at here, I put this on zero. And you wanna look at the back? Ta-da, not bad. This is the back. And you see that tingy tangy down there? It's because of, if we tight the bobbin case, the bobbin case on the bottom, the tension, then we don't have these spots right here popping out. But overall, for a first timer, for a rookie, Great job. first day, Great job. I'm doing a great job, honestly. I'm so proud of myself. So here we go. This is how you do it. Oh, see, like you have to. Free motion. Look, okay, now. Now, you could also use this one the same way. I'm not gonna waste your time. You could use this too. We have a video on those too. These two. 
uh, clear one. Now, this one is like a cup because a lot of people use foams and, you know, inserts and bedding and I don't know what inside uh, for cuisine. But this one is more flat. A lot of people use this too also. I'm not gonna waste your time today. The same thing you use this, this the way you use this one, you could use this one. All right, this is how you use this. Part called Quilting Guide Foot and Plate GC1KIT. KIT stands for? Kit. Kit. You could use this on all the industrial home, uh, sewing machine, uh, high shank, Juki, Brother, Nutech. Nutech, go Nutech. Uh, and um, thank you for watching. Thumbs up, like, share our video, and have a golden day have a golden day thank you for watching